how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have 13 to the power of 5 minus 13 to the power of 4 so we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we will show all of the working on this paper so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate uh, to write this method into the comment section so uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus in the exponent of this term uh, and the exponent of this term is 5 so we break this 5 as uh, 4 plus 1 minus this is 13 to the power of 4 and now here we need to apply this exponent law uh, if we have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n uh, so according to this exponent law uh, here we can just uh, expand uh, the exponent of these terms and it will be written as 13 to the power of 4 multiplied by 13 to the power of 1 minus 13 to the power of 4. So further in the next step you see here we have 13 to the power of 4 be the common term so that when you take common 13 to the power of 4 from both of these values uh, we will get here 13 minus 1 and now here in the next step uh, we need some simplifications here and we have 13 to the power of 4 into 13 minus 1 uh, is equals to 12 and now here in the next step we uh, need to find the value of 13 to the power of 4 uh, so that uh, in order to find the value of 13 to the power of 4 uh, we write it as 13 uh, to the we break this 4 as 2 multiplied by 2 and it is multiplied by 12 right, so further in the next step here we <coughs> we can just apply uh, the exponent law and we write this 13 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 uh, is written as in this form 13 square and it's a whole square and it is multiplied by 12 so this means that we write this 13 square and its whole square as in this form 13 square multiplied by 13 square and it is multiplied by 12 so it means that in order to move for uh, move forward uh, we first need to find the value of 13 square uh, so that here we find the value of 13 square uh, so again this 13 square means that we multiply 13 with 13 and we break this 13 as 13 multiplied by 10 plus 3 uh, we need to do these steps because of calculator is not allowed and if you need to uh, gain the complete marks in exam you must do these type of steps okay uh, so here first we multiply 13 with these two values it will be written as 13 multiplied by 10 plus 13 multiplies by 3 so here you have 13 times of 10 equals to 130 and here you have 3 3 is a 9 when you multiply 3 times of 30 it will be equals to 3 3 is a 9 and 3 ones are 3 so uh, here we need to sum up these two values and you have 0 plus 9 is equals to 9 and 3 plus 3 equals to 6 and this is 1 only it means that 13 square is equals to uh, 169 so now we move uh, backward and we substitute the value of 13 square on these two places uh, and when we substitute the value of uh, these two places so that our above uh, expression is written as in this form uh, so first you have 13 square multiplied by 13 square multiplied by 12 so we put the value of 13 square here it will be written as 169 multiplied by 169 multiplied by 12 so we need more simplifications here and now we break this 169 as this is a 169 we write this 169 as 100 plus 60 and plus 9 and this is over 12 so now here we break this 169 and we multiply this value on each of these terms uh, so after multiplication of each of these terms it will be written as 169 multiplied by 100 plus 169 multiplied by 60 plus 
169 multiplied by 9 and at the resulting answer we multiply it with 12. So now here uh, we move forward and we need to do all of these multiplications. So here you see that I can just do this multiplication in a very smart way. Uh, so here I cannot do any calculations in this page or I cannot use the calculator and you see here I can easily uh, do this type of bigger multiplications. First here this is very simple multiplication 169 times of 100 is equals to 169 and double zero here plus when you multiply 169 with this 60 so here we consider this is one digit number this is two digit number so when you multiply this zero with this number you get zero when we multiply 6 with this number you get here 6 9s are 54 uh, yeah. we write 4 and carry 5 6 6 are 36 36 plus uh, 5 becomes 41 so we write 1 and carry 4 6 1s are 6 6 plus 4 becomes here 10 so you get here 1 0 1 4 0 and plus here we need to multiply 9 with 169 so 9 9s are 81 we write 1 and carry 8 so again 9 6s are 54 54 plus 8 becomes 62 we write 2 and carry 6 so again 9 1s are 9 9 plus 6 becomes 15 so you get here 1 5 2 1 and at the last we multiply it with 12. So in order to multiply this with 12, we first need to sum up all of these values. So you have this is 0 plus 0 plus 1 is equals to 1. And this 0 plus 4 equals to 4. 4 plus 2 becomes 6. This 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. We write 5 and carry 1. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus this 1 is 8. And here you have 1 plus 1 becomes here 2. So we get here 28561 and we need to multiply this number with this 12. So now in order to multiply this number with 12, we break this 12 as this is 28561 and we write this 12 as 10 plus 2. And now we multiply this number with 10 so it will be written as 2 8 5 6 1 and 0 plus when you multiply this number with 2 we get here 2 1s are 2 and 2 6 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 2 5 is a 10 10 plus 1 is 11 we write 1 and carry 1 2 8 is a 16 16 plus 1 is 17 we write 7 and carry 1 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so we obtain here 5, 7, 1, double 2 and now here in the next step we need to sum up these two values and we obtain our final answer. So we have this is 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3 and 6 plus 1 is 7 and 5 plus 7 is 12. We write 2 and carry 1, 8 plus 5 becomes here 14. We write 4 and carry 1. So this is 2 plus 1 is 3. So we finally we get here 3, 4, 2, 7 and 3, 2. This is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.